The remaining minutes of this training session will be dedicated to a very useful practical function. It is very helpful, especially in day-to-day -day business, and very efficient to perform analyzes. This is the automatically execution of analyses on the basis of so-called macros. Automating analyzes with the help of macros is especially useful in day-to-day -day business when recurring analyzes have to be performed, but on the basis of regularly updated data. We will now learn how to do this step by step. In order to make the macro process even more comfortable, we will also learn how to create an individual button in the upper area of the menu bar, in our case with the name, Daily Quality Analysis, so that it is then possible in the daily business by a simple click on the appropriate menu item to efficiently perform the required daily analyzes based on the updated data set. To create a macro, it is first necessary to perform the desired analysis once manually, completely, and without errors. At this point, we remind once again that all manual analysis steps that we perform are automatically recorded in the background and displayed in the so-called history window. The history window is currently still hidden and can be shown by click on view and then on command line history. The history window should be empty at this point before the macro is created. If not, the contents of the history window should be cleared by right-clicking the clear history option in the history window. For our macro example, we decide that in the future we want to perform several different analyzes one after the other every day. The first thing we want to do is to create a tabular summary of our statistical center and dispersion parameters. To do this, we click on Statistics Basic Statistics and then on Display Descriptive Statistics. If necessary, delete older entries by pressing the key button F3, take over our data set from column C2 scrap rate, and confirm our selection with OK to get the desired summary of statistical parameters in the output window. We also see that a corresponding command line for this analysis step has now been created in the history window. In the second step of our automated programming, a box plot with groups should be created which are differentiated according to the group variable weekday. For this we click on Graphs and then on Box Plot. Select the type 1Y with groups and confirm with OK. Delete again, if necessary, older entries by the function key F3. Transfer our data set from the C2 column, Scrap Rate and select the column C3, Weekdays, as the categorical group variable. Confirm with OK and obtain our desired box plot representation. In the third and last automated step, we would like to perform an outlier test. To do this we click on Statistics Basic Statistics and select Outlier Test. If necessary, delete older entries again using the F3 function key. Transfer our data set from column C2, Scrap Rate and our group variable from column C3 Weekday and confirm with OK. Thus, we would have performed three different analyzes manually and would like to automate these three different analysis steps in our daily business every day. The programming syntax required for the automation is listed in the history window, as already mentioned. The transcript syntax listed in the history window, based on the classic programming language Fortran and C++. Before we now create our macro on the basis of this transcript, it is always meaningful at this point to check in advance by means of a quick test whether the routine listed in the progress window is also suitable for automation in this form. For the quick test, we paste the contents of the history window into the upper window with the heading, command line. Before we start a test run, we have to delete the history again, to avoid duplicate entries by the test run. This step is necessary because the displayed history can only be exported as a whole macro. And if we then click on the run button, then our three manually performed analysis steps should run automatically and completely. And as we can see in the output window the macro seems to work, all three manually performed analysis steps have been completely run through automatically. So in the next step, we can use the content in the history window one-to-one -one as an executable macro file in exec format. To do this, we select the history content again. And then click on the Save History as option by using the right mouse button. As an example, give our macro the name, Daily Quality Report Scrap Rate. Then select the exec format under, File Type. And finish our macro creation, by clicking on Save. At this point, we have completed the actual macro creation, to perform daily scrap rate analysis in an automated and efficient manner. And now we'll look at how we can create an individual menu in the menu bar, 
in order to start our daily analysis with a simple mouse click. To do this, we first right click on our menu bar and then click on Customize and select the option New Menu. And now, while holding down the left mouse button, drag the New Menu command to the upper main menu. Then right click on our new menu and select Name button. Give our menu the as an example the name, Daily Quality Analysis, and confirm with OK. In our new Daily Quality Analysis menu, we will next now add the button, Daily Quality Report Scrap Rate. To do this, we click the Customize window on the On Tools tab, and then on the new folder icon. The cursor then appears at the nearest free position in the Menu Contents Input field. Enter the name, Daily Quality Report Scrap Rate and then click in the command input field. And also enter daily quality report scrap rate. To link this command, daily quality report scrap rate, with our macro in exec format, we then click on the button with these three dots, to get to the directory where our macro is located. Select the option all files, from the drop down menu at the bottom right, to view all existing file formats in that folder. Select our macro, daily quality report scrap rate. And then click on open. In order for our link to be applied, we have to close the Customize Input window once, at this point and open it again. By right-click on the menu bar. Select Customize. And if we now click on the tap, Tools, we see that our command for the macro, Daily Quality Report Scrap Rate, now appears properly at this point. After that, we just have to move this command to our personal daily analysis menu, as follows. We activate the tab, Commands. Select the option, tools. And we finish our process of macro and menu creation by keeping the left mouse button pressed and moving the command daily quality report scrap rate to the personalized new main menu daily quality analysis and clicking on the close button in order to close the customization. If we now click on our daily analyzes menu, we will also find our desired daily analysis scrap rate button there again. So that from now on, we can run our three desired analyzes automatically at any time, with a simple click. It is important, that our exec file, which contains the programming syntax for our macro, is always stored in the same location, to ensure a smooth automated process. Because if we go again with the right mouse button over the option Customize, to the tab, Tools, then we see at this point, that our command daily quality report scrap rate, is linked with this specific storage location. As soon as the macro is removed from this path, the command cannot be executed, and the automated analysis cannot be performed. At this point it is also important, that the structure of our data set is not changed. This means, that the data set may be but the basic table formats and also column names or cell formats, should not be changed, as otherwise the macro cannot perform the corresponding automated analyzes without errors. The basic rule to run a macro file is always, that the actual data set must first be imported into Minitab, in order to trigger the command for automation via the corresponding button. We can try this out by saving our project with the name, Boxplot Scrap Rate, and then restarting Minitab. If we click on our button, without importing our data set, then we will get an error message accordingly. Only when we import the corresponding data set via open file, can the corresponding macro be triggered, via our customized button.